Hey everybody, we are back again at the Camper Rebuilt. We are having a blast with this thing. So in our last video, you've seen that they got a lot of the painting done and it looks really good. Should we say why we're having a blast with this? Because we're not doing any of the work. <laughs> They're doing most of the work. We're I am lending it. a hand on a little bit of it. I'm watching Lewis. So hey, uh, I'm going to take you inside right now. What they're doing is this is the beginning of all the fabric and the reupholstering part of the camper. They're inside discussing what they're going to do right now. So let's go inside and join them. Here we go. Hey everybody, meet Sarah, my lovely and amazing wife, who is also uh, an incredible seamstress. Uh, and we are sitting here trying to figure out all of our different fabrics. Yes. Hi everybody. I'm. Try, I've picked out some fabrics here. Uh, we're going to go with the navy blue theme. Um, these here, it's a, just a simple broad cloth I decided with to go with. Um, and these will be in between this bedroom and that bedroom as well. Um, I've decided also to make sure that there's some airflow in there to uh, put a little bit of a mesh. So there'll be navy blue from here on down and then a little bit of a mesh opening from here and then navy blue up above that. Um, we're still trying to figure out, we only have the original curtains for the windows, uh, not for the bedrooms. So still trying to figure out whether we're gonna use the old track um, or put up a curtain rod or something like that. For the windows, we actually don't have that fabric yet. I'm really excited about it though. <laughs> um, it's gonna actually blend these colors. They're slightly different. This is a little bit of a deeper navy blue. It's a little bit of a brighter navy blue, but I think the windows will really pull it all together. Um, it's more of a denim type fabric with a floral design on it. So since we do have the curtains left over from the windows, um, I'm going to use the plastic strips that, that were originally here in the tracks um, and sew those onto the window curtains. All right, so this here is the... Um, duck canvas, which is what we're going to use to cover our cushions um, in here for the little dining area. Um, I chose to go with duck canvas. Uh, it's a very sturdy material, very durable, um, not quite as heavy as some upholstery fabric, um, but I think with a good scotch guard or something like that, it'll it'll last us for a long time to come. Easier on the sewing machine. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, although, we are planning to use the old plywood from the previous cushions that were in here, partially because there are attachments to the... Uh, to the frame. To the frame, thank yeah. you. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna strip those down just to the plywood and use our primer sealer that we used first coat on all of our painting to just kind of seal and prime that. We'll leave it and then we've got new foam Yes. Which you got a really good <laughs> hack on how to get the yes. good deal on foam. Um, so originally I was looking into foam at Joann's and it just came out to be pretty expensive uh, for the amount of foam that we needed. Um, so we chose to go with a mattress topper. From Walmart, just kind of Walmart's brand. And it happened to be on sale. So because of that, it was much, much cheaper to use that and kind of figure out um, how we can get all of the cushions out of it. We're actually gonna be able to get the cushions as well as a little mattress for our son, Lewis. Um, so basically after we get them all uncovered and taken apart and the plywood painted, we'll put that foam on there. Um, and then instead of creating casings around them, which we may go back and do that. Who knows? Um, we're just gonna do some simple, just stapling Staple it, it on. upholstery kind of style. Yeah. Make it a little bit more simple that way. So you can kind of see this is a pattern. This is the flooring that we're gonna go with, just a vinyl sheeting. And so you can kind of see how all this is gonna tie together with the gray, the navy blue, and then everything else will be white. Again, just kind of that clean and crisp look.
floor in here. This is just your single sheet vinyl flooring. Uh, you can pick this up at Menards for, I think I got it for 80 cents a square foot. And every once in a while you can actually catch a really good deal on it and get it a lot cheaper. So we just laid it out on the driveway there, measured everything, and then laid it in. And what I always like to try and do, I, I laid this flooring before down in my basement, is purposely cut it just a tad big. And then once you get it roughly laid in, then you can go around each and every seam and just kind of cut it real slowly. So that way it is snug and really good. So we really like this, the initial lay-in. Now we're gonna go around do those fine uh, cuts and get everything right nice. And then once it's how we like it, then we're gonna start gluing it down. Well, I was gone for a little bit and Eddie came in and made some real big progress on this floor. He's got the vinyl all cut and put in place. I think it really makes it stand out really good. Take a look at it. countertop that we put in here. I have been saving this wood for like 10 years. I had some cabinets put in my house and this was left over so stuck this in the shed and saved it for a long time. Really glad we did because we were able after after he got done with the floor here we were able to put this piece of uh, wood over the top of this cabinet and made a spot here where you could sit or you could put uh, other things on top of it so really happy with the way this turned out now it, just remember this is where the sink used to be so and then uh, Eddie made took reg, just regular plywood and made some doors to put on the cabinet so we are really thrilled with the way this turned out so things are coming along really good on this camper rebuild we are having a blast doing it and this just really sets things off I can't wait for you to see future episodes and see how this thing's turning out. Mm -hmm.